It's quick and easy to add a remote to an existing AVA OS project. Here's how. For a remote to join a project, the project must be running on an AVA Nano brain. A remote cannot join a remote-only project where the project is running in internal brain mode. Remember that one of the several jobs of an AVA Nano brain is to keep multiple remotes in sync. I'm demonstrating with a cinema remote but the process is similar for a home remote once you have enabled AVA OS on the home remote. From the initial screen, tap Begin. The video skips a step here for joining Wi-Fi. Not interesting. At the Google Account screen, don't create a new Google account. If you followed the guidance from the first setup video, then you have already created a Google account for this home. Log in using that account, then update the AVA apps when prompted. Choose whether to accept the license agreement and allow AVA OS to start up. On the next screen, select Connect to Existing Project and then tap Next. The remote scans the network for AVA projects. Select the project. There's normally just one in a home, but I have two for this demo so you can see what it might look like in your lab or showroom. After you hit Connect, the remote links up with the Nano Brain and loads the project settings. But hold it, you're not done. If you have any flows for launching Android apps, make sure that you install those apps on the remote and configure them for how they need to work for your customer. Also, remember that the installer settings on this remote are still accessible. If you normally keep the installer settings locked, don't forget to do that. Click one of these videos to continue learning about AVA OS.